Hi, welcome back. My name is Score Chaser, and this is Resident Evil 2. This is the start of Leon B's campaign. So let us get started. Hopefully you enjoyed watching through Claire's scenario. We got an A ranking, which kind of bums me because usually... You know, I can secure an S fairly simply, but it's been quite a while since I've played that, and, well, I haven't played Claire's in a little bit, so we are going to do this to do this. I know that alliteration made a lot of sense, but you know what? That's cool. In the midst of the T-Virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Claire Redfield succeeded in escaping from the city, along with one of the only other survivors, a young girl named Sherry. However, behind their escape was the lone survivor of the Raccoon City Police Department. Leon S. Kennedy. Got here. Guys, I'm a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Stay on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. Pardon my water drinking. <laughs> Must stay hydrated. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. One 
one piece. I'll meet you there. Okay. Okay, now we get to see what happened with Leon. But no, another part of the reason why my playthrough with Claire took a little longer than what it normally takes me is that I usually don't read the files. I usually just read those once and that's it. You know, I, I read them through the first time I played the game and, you know, I just skipped them and that does cut a lot of time. Okay, so I need to go through here. We we're already at the police station. Okay, so I need a key for that. Because there is an item in there that we need. Yes, we will. Ah, uh, fiddle sticks. Okay, back up. really call this a cabin you know because it's you're in a city cabins don't happen to be in cities got to be on the lookout for items. Okay. Wait a minute. I think from what I remember in the American version of Resident Evil 2 you can't get in it. Can't get an S ranking. Or if I'm misremembering, there is one Resident Evil game that you can't get an S rank. I'll need to look into that. You know, it's kind of a little too late for stay back when you're already shooting at them. I mean, if it was, you know, an intelligent creature, you should stay back while you're pumping bullets into it. It doesn't really uh, have the effect of the threat, because you're already carrying through with it. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so we need to get the... the turn crank, or not crank, but it's that little pump handle, which is located on the bottom floor where the uh, the locked safe is. You, oh no! Get off! No! Oh, bad. Get off of me. Thank you. More bullets. Always helpful. 
Okay, so the handle is right here. Thank you. And we're just going to ignore all these guys and get back upstairs. Pick these up and get them in the box while we're here and we have the free space. Oh, wait, I was going to go this way. I was going to go this way. And there's a liquor. <laughs> Not good. Okay, got some more bullets. I don't want to carry any more items anyway. There's a small key. Um, we can do a couple things right now. I th think. Um, let's see if we can... I don't know if we can get into the library, but we do need to get into the library. Not in the library, but in the, the one hall. We'll get back to that. One thing at a time. I'm trying to do four things in my head at once. Because in the hall that connects to the library, there is a locked cabinet. And in that cabinet are parts for Leon's handgun. It turns his handgun into a multi-shot so you can fire up to up to three times at once which does uh, shoot down your ammo but it helps in tight scenarios and we don't want to get caught up in tight scenarios in this campaign ah oh, you dirty bird oh that's bad that is not good Jeez. Valve handle. That's what it's called. Dumbass. Yes, shotgun shells help, but I don't have a shotgun. I need to get to the star's office for that. Oh, who's this? Mr. X. You see, we used to call him Mr. T because of the T on the capsule. And when I say we, I mean my friends and I that played this game. Okay, can't go through that way anymore, so that shortcut is gone. Show yourself.
wish I could see myself. No, I can't kill him, but what I'm trying to do is that he has drops. Like, you know, ammo drops. Okay, downed him. His sole purpose is to kill survivors. I kind of want to get in there because I think there's a key. Let me check. I don't got anything in the box besides those items. Nope, because I was thinking I might also have the special key for Leon, but I do not, and that's okay. Okay, so we're going to try and sneak past this lurker. It didn't work, didn't work, didn't work, didn't work, didn't work, didn't work. <laughs> what sucks is they're still going to be there. <laughs> Ink ribbon. I could have sworn that there was ammunition there for Leon. Blue card key. Okay, yes, I did need this. And I forgot about that liquor. Kind of made my heart jump just a teensy bit. Whoosh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, and that's for Yeah, this we've read that already. I don't think we can get into the library yet, but we're going to bring this with us anyway. Yeah, sound good? Okay. Okay, we got zombies. Of course we got zombies. But where are they? I think we're going to worry about them just yet. But I am... Well, actually, I do need to worry about them because I need to get the... Unicorn medallion. So I need to do the electronic lock to open that.
Oh, come now. Dick move, zombie. Yeah, the zombie's still there. It's not gonna bother us. I promise. Ooh, that happened early. Oh, no! It happened anyway! If you remember, I blocked that off in our last playthrough. But, they wanna play dirty. We can play dirty. Nasty dirty. <laughs> yes, we will use the small key. Thank you. Yes, we will take the hang out parts. Okay. Oh, I forgot that gives you a free refill. Sugar. I wasted that. Oh well. Okay, so Leon gets chest pieces. He needs these to get into the sewer. So we got one piece of our little puzzle. I'm not gonna lie, that made me jump. I hey, forgot about that. Wait. Ooh, what did you drop? Yeah, I'll take that. So she gives me the diamond key. Then I wonder what key. Curious. Leon! <laughs> Claire, you made it! Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Okay, so I got a full inventory. That means I'm going to have to do some back and forth, which I'm not fond of, because it means I'm going to be wasting time. But this was stuff I had to do. Okay, let's not go this way. Actually, screw it.
much more efficient. So I should have shotgun shells in here. No! I need to come back for that. I mean, it's a good enough reason to come back here. Yes, we will take handgun bullets. Is that shotgun fully loaded? I could have sworn it took seven, but I could be thinking of the upgrade. I'm just doing this puzzle now to get it out of the way. Because I'm going to have to come back to... You know, get that magnum. You're gonna see me be very stingy with that magnum. Going to be using it for boss fights only. Not counting Mr. X. I, I can dispatch him with the shotgun and my handgun. I wonder if, since I unlocked it with Claire, will it be unlocked for Leon? That's a question. It's locked. That answers that. More handgun bullets. For now, I'm going to put away the plug. And these shells. Yeah. Because I shouldn't be using my shotgun all that much. I mean, you know, in theory, shouldn't. Because I don't want to waste any ammo. I mean, because I, I do need to dispatch the the liquors in the hull. The tech herbs. Because that's going to be an important thing that I need to take care of. Ah. Uh. Second guessing myself in a lot of stuff I'm doing right now. Not always a good thing, but oh well. We're doing it. We're having fun. At least I hope you are. unlock this door. Actually, I could. Dangerous thinking here. Much dangerous thinking.
I mean, since I'm already over here. See, I was right. There is something there for Leon. More bullets. There's that red gem. We'll take that. Is there anything else over here? I read that as Claire. So we don't need to be doing that again. Mm. Gonna avoid going that way. Well, sugar. I kinda need to though. I need to be in this hall because the other diamond key unlock area. Okay, there's nothing there. That's the spade key. Okay, so I was incorrect in my... Damn. Dang, dang, double dang, dang, dang. I am looping and I'm not liking it. Okay. Okay. Oh, whatever. It's a safe passage. Maybe I get the spade key from the unicorn here. Is that a small key? Okay, that is the spade. The ace of spades! Oh, what else did the diamond key open? I'm remembering stuff all funky now. It's been about a week since I finished Claire's campaign. I usually like to record on either Saturday or Sunday and get like five or six episodes out of the way. Yes, cool. So that kind of saved a, a little trip anyway. So I'd like to do about five or six episodes depending on length. You know, just to get a good backlog. As of now, it's late. Okay. That is not what I was expecting to be in there. Um. Wait, but does that give me... Okay, that's not necessary for me. Okay, that crank is... The crank that's in this room is with the chief of police. If you haven't uh, seen by now the second scenario, the night all that key gave me was a first aid spray. That was that was a waste. But you never know, and it's better to be safe than sorry. And there's the zombies. Good thing we won't need to come back here. We can find alternate routes.
there are always alternate routes. Okay, so... But if I pick that up, I can't pick up the other... I can't pick up the Magnum. Shoot. Well, there is another trunk that I can go to upstairs, because I'm going to be taking the red gems to that room, and I'm going to need the shotgun because I have to dispatch three liquors. I might be able to just get away with doing two. Because I've got a little more room in the other... You know where I have to take the red gems to. There's more space for me to move. It's not a narrow hallway. Yes, I will take the red jewel. Take the Magnum. Thank you, Merry Christmas to score. It's so beautiful. It's a desert eagle. A kind that'll take a head clean off. Clean off his ambo. Okay, so now we're taking these two items to trade for one item. Deposit Betty. Pull out Susan Sarandon. Why do I name my shotgun Susan Sarandon? Because she gets the job done. Did I just take out both of them? I don't believe I did. I did. Good job, Susan Sarandon. I won't be able to sneak past it because of the broken glass. I was trying to conserve shells. Like a sane person. Because that's clearly what I am. A sane person. Okay, this gives us another one of the chess pieces. We will take the king plug.
Okay, I think I will call that today's episode. Thank you for- ooh, we got more shells. Thank you for joining me. Hope you had a good time. Uh, again, my name is Score Chaser, and remember that you are awesome. Please take care, have an amazing day. When we come back, more aimless wandering. <laughs>